Bethel Church has been in existence in Bellflower for just over 75 years. We have seen the many changes in the city and have experienced a lot of changes in ministry over the past 75 years. In the beginning, our focus was on meeting the needs of the people in our congregation. But as the times have changed, we have changed our focus to being an outwardly focused church whose mission is to provide for the needs of our community. In 1988, a few people got together and began picking up some kids for our Wednesday night Kick It Kids program. They had driven on Eucalyptus Street several times and just felt like they could do something to help the community there. At that time, police cars lined the streets and there were kids running through the middle of gang fights and domestic wars. The homes were run down and the yards were filled with garbage left for someone else to pick up. The first time our team went to visit on the street, their heart and soul debated with their brain and common sense. Should they stay and talk to a few families or head back to a safe side of town only three streets away? Well, they stayed and told a few kids that they'd be back to pick them up on Wednesday night. They asked the kids to tell their friends about it. When they arrived on Wednesday evening, four kids waited on the curb with their permission slips. They were saddened by the fact that there weren't many kids, but welcomed them anyway. Now, we have purchased two buses and fill them completely with kids going to kick it each week to learn life skills, receive mentor training, participate in community service projects, and just have a great time. We pick kids up from Bellflower Boulevard, Eucalyptus, Cornuda, Flora Vista, Harvard, and Flower Streets. This service is free and is for any child, kindergarten through sixth grade, who wants to come. After we had been picking kids up for over a year, we were on the way home one night from Kick It, and one of our team members asked one of the kids if his family had decorated a Christmas tree yet. The child explained that his family didn't have a Christmas tree because they couldn't afford it. The next day, our bus driver was on their doorstep with a Christmas tree and decorations. Christmas has never been the same since that evening. The bus ministry has become a vital aspect of our church, and Christmas on Eucalyptus Street has become even more exciting each year. The entire church prepares for the Wednesday before Christmas. People pass food baskets and gift boxes for our family. The day is filled with preparations from wrapping gifts to counting blankets to sorting cans and arranging gifts. Then, two buses, a tractor and trailer, a U-Haul, and several trucks head over to Eucalyptus and Cornuda Streets to overwhelm the people with love from a nearby church who wants to spread a little joy at Christmas time. Many of the area schools take part by collecting blankets and socks for families, and lots of kids come out that night to help deliver. One of the first years we went, one family said they wanted a family photo for Christmas. So we snapped a quick shot of them and promised we'd be back with their gift. When we returned, we learned that their father had been shot and killed on the way home from work that week. This family photo was indeed a gift to them because it created a lasting memory of their father. About 10 years ago, while sitting in a Caring Connections meeting, one of our collaborative members announced that she was from Angel Step 2, and they were in need of some Christmas joy. She asked if anyone could help. Before my mind could even process this, my hand was in the air saying, My church can help! What an amazing connection that turned out to be. Each year we bring 30 robes to the residents there. We also bring gifts, pajamas, and blankets for all the kids. It's so much fun to go in with Santa and Mrs. Claus to deliver gifts to each one by name. They feel honored to be remembered, but it's also a good reminder to us of how we have been given so much and that we're called to give to those in need. It's a favorite night for all who are there. Another thing Bethel offers is a summer day camp program for kids grades kindergarten through sixth. It takes place during the month of July and the first week of August. Kids are invited to join us each day from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. for an on-campus day camp. We do tons of fun activities, and the cost is only $2 per day. Yeah, you heard that right, $2 per day. It is our intention to make sure anyone who would want to come is able to. We provide two snacks a day, and kids have to bring their own lunch. On Fridays, we do a hot lunch for $2 per child. Spaces fill up really fast, so if you know of anyone who would want to sign up, they may do so by contacting Bethel Church. The waiting list opens up on March 21st. Space is limited, so remind your parents to sign up at the end of March. This program is also so successful because of our leadership training program. Each year, we take applications from kids who are going into 7th grade through college. 
45 are hired and put through two days of teacher training. They are all trained in first aid and CPR, as well as basic classroom leadership. During the course of camp, they meet each day an hour before camp for specific instruction, and they're required to go on one team building night a week. My favorite is the clue finding night at Downtown Disney, dressed in their finest tourist garb. Spots are also limited, and applications will be available on March 7th. If you know of any junior high or high school child who possesses leadership qualities, we would love to work with them. Last year, we had 21 kids from Mayfair, 10 from Lakewood High, 9 from Bellflower, and 15 from Valley Christian. This year, we also started an after-school program called STARS. The acronym stands for Skills to Access Real Life Success. It's not only a homework help place, but also a life skills learning program. The kids do homework and reading every day. They take part in Fitness Focus, which teaches them how important it is to work on their health by being active. And they do community service projects, such as baking bread or muffins for those in convalescent care. It's a great program and has just a few openings left. The cost is only $10 per week per child and provides an afternoon snack and supervision until 6 p.m. They follow the BUSD school calendar and are open 15 minutes after school dismisses each day, even on early days. For families who are looking for food at a lower cost, we offer the treasure box. It's a box of food that will feed a family for a week. All of it is frozen and costs only $32 per box. To receive these boxes, families can either call or stop by the church office to order or go online to www.thetreasurebox.org and select Bethel Church as a pickup site. Orders are taken throughout the month, and there is one pickup day a month. On Monday nights, we do a basketball league for men who are in high school up to 98 years old. The first two weeks of the league are free play, and then it goes into league play. Teams are put together and scheduled to play once a week. The core values of this program are love, honor, and respect. It's a great opportunity for guys to come out and get involved in a safe activity while meeting new people. Free play begins on March 14th at 7 p.m. Athletes can call the church office for more details or just show up on the 14th. Tuesday nights are called TNL for Tuesday Night Live. It's the coolest event each week for high schoolers. They're brought together to discuss current issues and hot topics, as well as just connect with other high schoolers who are dealing with the same issues as they are. TNL begins each Tuesday at 7.14 p.m. Every Thursday night, junior hires meet at 7 p.m. for much of the same as what our high schoolers do, only at their level. Both of these programs are free except for a small fee for kids who go to this winter or summer retreat. On March 27th, we will be hosting our annual health fair from 11 to 2 p.m. Families can come and take part in the day of health screenings, kids programming, as well as receive information from over 80 vendors. It's our goal to help make our community more aware of their personal physical health. Last but not least, we'll be hosting a golf tournament on April 15th to help us raise funds for all of these free programs. If you would like to help by sponsoring a hole or by golfing, we would love it. Please pass the word around about this event as we need over 100 golfers to make this a success. Bethel's desire is to impact the community in a positive way by reaching real needs. We are honored to have been a part of Caring Connections for over 11 years now and look forward to meeting many more needs in the future together.